guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival, Season 7, Episode 32, I believe. In today's episode, we got a couple small projects to do, and we'll see if we get any storms to spawn, as always. Um, I added these obsidian blocks to this corner because it was so ugly without it. I hate that you can make this portal without the corner blocks, which underneath, you know, don't tell anybody, but it's still stone. Um, another thing I did is I crafted a bunch of these, and let me tell you, it took a hit on our uh, on our supplies in here. Well, yeah, we had a whole lot more um, in here before this, but it really takes a hit on those golden iron there. But it had to be done because for some reason all my forecasters are gone. So I I added one at every base, the windmill, the the villages, every everywhere. So one thing I want to do today is I want to I want to separate the villagers like we kind of planned, you know. I'd, uh, I'd like to have a villager at every house in the other village, and I'd like to, uh, I'd like, you know, proportionally even them out. And then I'd like the good villagers at the village over there, and then I'd like the bad villagers in those two villages. So that's one thing we're going to do. Another thing is, this is the disgusting part of the map, right? We can all agree on that. So I think I'm going to build a mob farm over here. It's kind of hard to see. Or it'll be hard to see in the air. I can't decide if I want to do it above ground or below ground. But basically, yeah, I, I want to build a mob farm because we need gunpowder for these here uh, rockets so we can fly. So that's uh, also on the agenda. And we'll see what else we get into. But that, that right there is two big projects moving the villagers. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll see. So I'm gathering materials here, and one thing I want to go ahead and do is we're going to name, or we're not going to name, we're going to dye these shulker blocks, boxes different colors. So we got green, um, we got white, I think we got, uh, we got, we got gray right here, and uh, I think we use lapis for this, right? So I just want to go ahead and color code these so to say so that we can get a decent idea here of uh, of this what other uh, there's yellow which we can do and then red too so we got that right there and then we'll leave one purple of course all right uh, let's see it's gonna leave those that are not colored still I do like that you can color code them though that's uh it's very helpful. So we got we've got five that are just gonna be extra purple. I don't think we have any. I mean, like, what is an oxide daisy? Does that craft into light gray? We could make a light gray one. <laughs> sure, why not? Um, yeah, that's uh, that's what that's gonna be. So now we only have four that are kind of like that and I don't think we have any any other dyes in here do we um it's not looking like it what, what how do you make pink what is that like a a mixture of these two here I'm I'm dumb hold on yep that's pink so we'll do another one make a pink how different is pink it's different enough all right uh yeah that'll be good enough i think we'll just have those extra ones but uh when we do this it'll help me differentiate between what is what and i might color code the storage room to help me get an idea that way i can uh generally uh you know associate a shulker box with items um that's what i'm going to do right now is put stone in the gray one because it just makes sense to me Yep. So there we go. So yeah, I'm gonna pack up some materials and then we'll get we'll get to going over there. All right, guys. I know this is gonna sound weird, but I've decided to build this in the basement of the windmill. <laughs> so uh, my reasoning for this is we don't have any reason to come here, right? So I was thinking about this earlier when I added this forecaster here. We we literally just don't have an a reason to come here. So um, I think the mob farm will you know give us some you know motivation to actually come here so um i'm just gonna 
put it in the basement below this and I'll figure out a way for us to get down. I'm not sure I might just put ladders in the corner here. I haven't totally decided, but yeah, I'm going to start on the layout of this. So while I was uh, building this thing, I noticed that uh, right here is a cave and uh, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> uh, if we're going to do this, we're going to want to make sure that all of this is lit up because that will affect the mob spawning rate. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna go caving here and try and get rid of many caves, as I notice. Oh! So I think a lot of these caves are lit up because I swear it seems like a lot of mobs were in here, but it's actually not that bad. Um, if we get a lot of mobs spawning in one spot, it's actually a really good sign Although it doesn't seem that way, I thought it was going to be more so, but hopefully uh, there won't be too many dark spots. I mean, you can see some on the mini-map, but, you know, every little bit helps. Alright guys, that was about as much caving as I could handle. We uh, we got quite a bit of stuff, though. But it was mainly upper-level caves, so nothing too great. A whole uh, block of coal there, a whole stack of that. Um, ugh, I don't even want that shovel. Yeah, that's uh, about as much caving as I can have. Here's the basic design. I'm going to do like four levels of these, maybe five. Um, it's already working somewhat. I thought so. Oh, yeah. One fell down here. <laughs> then there was one up there that I killed already. So it is working slightly. It's a work in progress, though, of course. So um, I'm just going to keep working on it. And once I get the five levels done, I'll show you all what it looks like. Alright, so I've done three layers, and I think I'm just going to stop there because there's a cave underneath me, and that's just getting annoying. So, for this, we need to go roughly 30 blocks down from here. So, 2, 3, 4, 28, 29, 30. So, a fall from that height will kill them. <laughs> Which is good for us, because we want a fall from that height to kill them. And we'll just dig out a little room here. Uh-huh, precisely. Whoops. And this is just going to be our little room for now. Um, see, if this is the center here, I think we need to go two more back, and then we can dig up. All right. Let's make it a little wider so it doesn't look so narrow. And I don't know when we'll get anything to drop down. I'll let you know on that. Um, it probably won't have very good rates, being s as small as it is. So uh, we'll, we'll see how uh, long it takes for things to start happening. All right, let's uh, let's dig up then. Like I said, let's just patch this thing up, and then it should work. So we'll see. Like I said, I do have my doubts. I do have my serious doubts. So I might just turn the upper layers of this windmill into a mob farm, add a couple more layers, because we don't use this thing for anything at all. <laughs> so I don't know why we wouldn't add a couple more layers, especially if uh, this thing is super slow, you know? I guess we'll have to see what the rates are, but I'd say I'm not going to be satisfied with them. So like I said, this is gonna hopefully be my main gunpowder source. Can we live <laughs> if we jump from here is the question. I think we're gonna find out. Yeah, I think we're definitely gonna find out. I think I will. Oh yeah, that's feather falling for you. Okay, so let's get our inventory organized. That should be good, right? That room there. Or that mob farm. It should be good now. Let's just see if anything falls while we're down here. Like I said, I'm having my doubts. One thing is we've got to for sure uh, knock out the uh, the uh, mobs that we hear right right as we go up. So uh, let's just let's do a little caving real quick. We'll take a take a few torches. I'm going to knock out this cave, and then I'll come back and see if that at all changes anything, because if not, 
We're gonna have to get a different strat here. Oh, look at the little baby slime we found. So, uh, we're uh, getting pretty low on the spawn rates, not gonna lie. We found, uh, some, uh, mobs in some interesting places up ahead. You're gonna see, uh, this creeper up here on a ledge. They're, uh, they're spawning, and any dark places are just insanely bad with mobs. Can I has gunpowder? Thank you. Yeah, so, uh, I've pretty much got it the place lit up. We're uh, gonna go back and see if we can uh see if we can get some you know some more decent uh spawn rates, but we'll see. Um I don't know how to get back from here, but we're gonna find out, hopefully. Alright guys, it's definitely working a little bit because I've had three or at least three mobs fall down here. So that's a good sign. I'm not gonna add or take anything away from this chest for now because I wanna see what this baby'll do. We're going to go up and see if it's daytime or nighttime, because it's definitely going to change my opinion if it's daytime or if it's nighttime. Well, e it's going to matter <laughs> either way. Hopefully, it's nighttime, <laughs> and we can make it daytime, because, oh, heck yeah, dude. That's a good sign. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'll tell you why. The fact that it's night tells me that I don't have enough dirt for this. Oh, that this has a lot of potential. Alright, we're going to go sleep. And it's going to cause a lot of mobs to no longer be on the surface. And when we come back, it will uh, hopefully be really cooking down there. Right where it needs to be. So what we'll do is we'll fly out. They'll all despawn. And we'll fly back, go down, and we'll see how it's doing. That, that's the plan. So let's uh, sleep. Elytra, get our rockets. A lot of these guys will actually just despawn anyways. Um, so let's uh, let's try it. As you can see, behind us, despawned. All right, now let's go back here and get that out. And let's go uh let's go see what this thing can do. Wait, I need my rockets back. Where did they go? There they are. We also want to uh put that there. Let's go see how many we get dropping. Like I said, I'm I'm pretty optimistic here. I'm feeling pretty good about this. We'll see. But uh hopefully we'll get a few to drop here for us. Nothing yet. <laughs> it's okay. I'm holding out. Um. Okay, that's majorly disappointing. How many entities are in the area? 65. Interesting. If there's 65 entities in the area, that's not good. It means that there's a large amount of mobs spawning somewhere that is not in my mob farm <laughs> so we'll have to check it out yeah you can see the entities there oh, apparently those caves over there within reach that's rough because uh... those are gonna be a pain in the butt to clear out that's a it's pretty much a large complex of caves over there I think it's over that way I ran into it but I decided not to touch it because I didn't think we would uh... have to worry about it but according to the mini map here there's a uh, oh yeah, quite a bit of mobs in the surrounding caves here. That's all right. That'll be stuff to do off camera in the stream, and this will get a lot better. But it does work. If you're gonna do this in your world, I recommend you build it above ground, and like I did, um, you build it way up in the sky, and then the mobs won't spawn in the caves because you'll be too far away. So I'd recommend doing that if you uh, want to replicate this. But uh. I think that's gonna... Nah, no, nah, that's not gonna do it for this episode. It hasn't been nearly long enough. That'll do it for this mob farm segment. I'll come up with something else to do. We might have to look into the weather mod because, uh... I've been on a day here and nothing has spawned. Which is really disappointing. But yeah, we'll, uh... We'll uh, do something else this episode. Maybe we'll work on transporting those villagers. So be right back.
So I was doing some off-camera work, smelting up all the iron that we had and stuff, and I noticed a storm spawned, and if you'll see right here, it appears there's a uh, tornado touching down right next to uh, our village here. Oh, that's interesting. That's the wrong texture. And it's going to... Oh, no! It's going to be an F1. That's going to go really close to the village here. Yep, that's gonna be a problem. If you can, uh, <laughs> if you can't tell here. Um, I don't know if it's gonna hit it or not, but it's gonna be close, and we have a lot of val valuable villagers here. Oh my gosh, I can't see because of the rain. Right here. Oh, that's particle. There it is. I don't know why this never stays, but it doesn't. There we go. Um,. Oh yeah, that's uh that's a problem. <laughs> um <laughs> What is it an F two now? Yeah, it's an F two. Oh man, that's coming close. That's gonna hit the other village. This is on a path for everything that we've built, by the way. Like directly. And if this thing keeps growing at a rate that it is, oh, this could be bad. Yeah, but if you can see there, it's heading right for the other village. Oh my gosh, it's an F3 now. This can only end one way. <laughs> oh, this is going to end so poorly. So, uh, right here, I think we're good, right? Yeah, the village here got saved. Why is that block missing? Um, I don't think it picked it up, did it? Ow! Stop that. It surely didn't pick up the block, did it? Did we get damaged that far out? No, no, no way. We got bigger fish to fry, though. Why can I not fly? Oh, we're too close. So, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's a direct hit to this village. Oh, yep, yeah, that's gonna be a, it's gonna be a major rip, boys. It's weakening now. That's a good sign. But uh, oh yeah, it's picking up blocks. Oh, yep, rip. Rest in peace, village. Yep, this will be casualties. <laughs> We're gonna lose some decent villagers today. No. Yeah, that's uh you can see it on the map there. That is that yep, it's hitting the village right now. It's picking up zombies. Oh, there it goes. Let's see if any villagers are picked up on our screen. No. Oh man. Right through the middle of it too. Oh, it's a direct hit to it. Oh, no. Yep, it's picking up blocks. Ow, lightning hit me. <laughs> oh, no. We're getting too close. We're going to have to back away. Darn it. Yep, we gotta worry about the house now and everything else. This is on a crash course. Oh my gosh. Absolute destruction. It just wiped out the blacksmith. I could die here. No reason to <laughs> die. Uh oh. Oh man, it just leveled the village absolutely leveled it look at that I mean it's just gone <laughs> the entire village is gone oh my gosh no let's get up here real quick sirens are going off now 
We should have put a siren in at the other village, but... Oh, no. Yep, that, uh, that'll do it. Let's turn it to 16. Yeah, the village just got completely leveled. Um, we'll go check for uh, any uh, survivors after this, but I have a bad feeling. <laughs> I have a very bad feeling <laughs> about the survival rate of the village here. Um, looks like it's taken a more uh, north, pass and more north path instead of east, but it's going to be a close call for the house. It's going to be a very close call. I think we'll be good, but it's going to cross in front of it there. Um, we may lose some blocks in here. Hopefully we'll be safe. But if anything, we can just fly out of it. I don't know why I'm using this radar. I've got one over there. Oh no, the horses. I didn't see any villagers get picked up. But it did completely level the, the village there. Oh man, look at that. That is ominous right there. Yep, that's a, that's a close call for everything. It's still ongoing here, and uh, like I said, the house, it really, it could, unless it takes a right turn, we'll be good, but that is coming so close. It's going to destroy that tree right there. Just watch. It's going to rip it up right there. I really like how there's a minimum of blocks, so it's almost like the tornado has vortices, so certain blocks it really picks them up, and then others it's like it weakens. I, I, I think that's more accurate. I'm going to probably make it so less blocks get picked, by which make it so less blocks get picked up, just because uh, it may seem more accurate to me. So as the tornado gets smaller, though, we might get a little more lucky. But, oh, man, that is... Yeah, the village is leveled. All right, let's, uh, let's go down here. Dang it. We're in our tower. We're getting some really good screenshots, though. Oh, we do have debris in the area, though. It tossed blocks onto that, and uh, it'll probably toss some more. So the, the house should be safe here. But man, is that a close call if you've ever seen one. Yep, it's going to cross right over the river here. Oh, yep, we're getting sucked in a little bit. That's all right. What are you fine? It's now an F1. Thankfully, the size of the tornado went down, and as it got weaker, it went more left than right. But, oh, man, it's pulling me in. Uh, let's get our vest or our chest plate out so we'll be heavier here. Hopefully weigh us down some. Yep. Man, that is just some... Wow. We gotta go check out the village too. This just... It leveled everything. And we're getting block debris everywhere that we're gonna have to clean up. Good thing we don't have anything over there in that direction, but... Man, look at all the... Look at the grass being thrown everywhere tearing up the landscape there I've taken way too many screenshots but oh man so we'll, we'll fly the whole damage path here but you can see on the entity map too in the upper left corner you can see the entities that were flying around in it and how they when they land but yeah you can see the entities in the vortices some insane lightning too I think I got struck at one point I can't remember but yeah, that that could have done a lot more damage. That was almost worst case scenario there. It knocked out it could have knocked out two villages, the airport tower and the house, but luckily it only got the village. Yeah, but the house, the airport, and the both the villages are in danger of being hit, and that one village did take a direct hit. I told you guys it was a matter of time before something was gonna take a direct hit, but uh it, it definitely happened. So uh I'm not really worried about that hitting anything else now, so we're just gonna fly over to the village and uh we're going to check out what kind of shape it's in now. We'll start by the going down the path here. So yeah, it's still ongoing, ripping over there. It crossed the river here. didn't show any signs of weakness as it crossed. 
but yeah look there's an f2 through here it's barely missed our airport there and uh, what it didn't miss was this was this village look and it even turned it's kind of sickening it turned away as it went through now this is interesting so it picked up <laughs> Picked up the weather forecaster and threw it back down right here. That's uh, that's quite interesting. Yeah, there used to be houses right here. Oh man, it picked up my glass where I had this. These are entities from the leftovers. There used to be the farm right here too. Oh my gosh, this is just this place got absolutely leveled. Nighttime's coming too, so now we do have some survivors. It appears if if we get lucky. The entire village will have been um, in here like they normally are. How many entities am I looking at? Uh, what if I do like this? Is it just you? I think it's just you. Are you the only one left? I mean, there's they couldn't be in any of the other houses, so... I think it's just him. He gets glitched out though. Yeah, that's just him there. Yeah, the reason I was checking is there's usually a bunch of them in that corner. So, do we only have one survivor in the entire village? There used to be uh, a few fishermen here, um, a butcher, and uh, yeah, I think everyone else got killed. Wow. So this tornado knocked out uh, several villagers, killed several of our villagers. I think we even might have had a blacksmith here at one point. And he is, uh, I did not mean to fly there. <laughs> he got killed too. So yeah, this, uh, this tornado killed all of our villagers but one. <laughs> Just go ahead and block him in there because the zombies will come at night. And I don't think we lost any villagers in the other tornado, in the other village. But man, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we lost all these, all the villagers except one in this village. That's why I don't want to keep these good villagers here because you can just see right here. I mean, that just total destruction of this village just leveled those three houses when the EF3 came through, even though there would technically be EF5 damage. So yeah, it, it touched down right here and it, it just quickly went F1 and then just barely missed the village here. See, the path, I mean, 20 blocks here, block debris, probably hit this village, it'd be hard to tell. It looks like we do still have our villagers in this village, which is good. I was worried we might lose them too. Um, you can see the block being thrown behind it, and then just direct hit to this village right here, and just completely leveled what used to be the the left side of this, or the, uh, the west side of this village, and killed all of them but one. And then we keep going, and uh, barely missed our airport towers in F2. And oh, you can see the chickens; they don't they don't fall. So keep going. F F two F one as it crossed the rivers. You can see it doesn't pick up as many blocks when it gets to F one. There's grass there, and it's it's still going this way. So yeah, I think it uh oh it took a right turn as it crossed into here. That's what we had to watch out for at the house. Is if it uh if it had weakened to an F zero back at the house, it would have taken a right turn straight into the house, and that would have been bad. So yeah, it's uh oh, it's it's uh picked up now. It picked up right over here, almost by the other base. The other base is literally just right there. So you know everything was in danger there. If we were issuing tornado warnings, all of the bases would have been under a tornado warning. See, because when it took this uh, turn here, like I said, if that had uh if that had weakened to an F zero there and took the turn, it would have wiped out our windmill and house. So definitely had everything in danger there. I'm just burning through rockets here, but yeah, that was a, that was a bad tornado, and unfortunately for this village, it hit its max uh, peak intensity right as it was going through the village there. That was, uh, that was pretty crazy. But yeah, it just, just leveled these houses, and uh, I, I was looking as I flew. I don't think any of the villagers survived, you know, got thrown and lived or anything. It looked like they all got killed, so that's unfortunate. We will have to uh, rebuild this village. And uh, that's probably going to be it for this episode because this is a 15 minute clip on top of things. So I hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. Uh, in the next episode, we'll continue working on the mob farm and then I guess rebuild this place. But yeah, that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!